Aquapodos. In this video of Aquapodos, we're covering a species video. And as you can see, obviously we're covering a species video on cherry barbs. So, cherry barbs, where do they come from? Uh, cherry barbs come from India. Um, they originate from uh, Sri Lanka, um, I think is the way you pronounce it. Um, so generally they do love subtropical temperatures to uh, 25 degrees um, I currently keep the aquarium here at 25 degrees just like a tropical aquarium and they do perfectly fine um, they come from regions sort of planted but verse and what I mean by that is very uh, plain terrain uh, where it can go on for miles with uh, just pebbles or no plant, no vegetation. Uh, however, they uh, are found in places where there is a uh, quite a bit of vegetation as well. Uh, as you can see, we do have some valis here as well to give them shade. So there's a small bacopa plant, and obviously they like to hang around the sponge filter area. Uh, males are generally um, a dark red in colour. Um, as you can see, the two males here, we've got three females, which are a lot lighter in colour. Um, see we've got a lot, quite a big female here uh, compared to the rest of them. Uh, they are excellent community fish unlike their cousins like tiger bars, the gold bars, rosy barbs, uh, bars along these lines uh, which are fin nippers. Uh, cherry bars are a very peaceful placid barb uh, with no nipping and no aggression which is, makes them perfect from a community tank. Uh, they do generally look quite good and actually look nice uh, against the green colour of the planted tank so they, could, they are actually well suited to planted tanks as well, they do fine in those. Um, cherry bars get to about 2 inches in size, uh, about 5 centimetres, um, which makes them great for small tanks, uh, anything uh, 15 gallon above they could be fine in. You maybe squeeze them in a 10 gallon, however, you know, bigger the better really. So 15 gallon I would say minimum for these guys. Uh, they do like to be kept in a group of 5 to 6 uh, minimum, uh, but aim for a group around about 10. Um, also make sure you get um, one male to two females. Uh, you don't. You want to make sure the females outnumber the males. So in this particular group we have uh, two males to three females, which um, is not too bad. Uh, we could add some more females ideally um, however uh, that should be fine these guys will accept any food uh, bloodworm uh, small little uh, shrimp they'll take uh, the pellets, flakes wafers, you name it they'll eat it so these guys are not funny um, Ten, I give these guys a 10 out of 10 for uh, keeping ease, ease of keep. Uh, these guys do prefer a pH around 6.8 to 7.5 pH, uh, but you can best to aim for a range of 7.0 so they're making the water neutral so uh, you can house a lot more species in the barbs and they do absolutely fine in that range. Um, so these guys overall are easy to keep, beautiful fish uh, with no aggression. So as you like barbs, and but you don't want to keep aggressive barbs, you keep fish like garamis or guppies with long tails, these guys are completely fine with them. Um, there's not much really else really about these guys, they're hardy little fish as well, easy to keep. Um, they are egg scatterers, so they will lay eggs. Um, however, uh, I will go into an in-depth video, maybe in the future, about uh, breeding these guys, because uh, that will be a video on itself. Uh, but overall, easy fish to keep, not aggressive, uh, very placid fish, very peaceful, uh, very hardy fish. You know, sets a wide range of temperatures. You know, anywhere between 22 to 26 degrees celsius or 72 to 79 degrees fahrenheit uh, anything around these degrees to anywhere around there will do 
Um, they will also fit in with fin nippers as well. Uh, they will be absolutely fine within a, a barb system uh, with cherry barbs, uh, sorry, with rosy barbs or tigers or gold. They will be totally fine in there. Uh, don't worry about getting picked on is the fish is small and weak. Like these guys are a bit small and would be considered a bit weak. So I wouldn't recommend putting them in a tank with adult barbs. However, this female here is a lot bigger. She's almost fully grown now and would be absolutely fine. Uh, however, there's no need to keep them in systems like this. Uh, they would be they would prefer and look a lot nicer in a community tank. Um, so there you go, guys. So please rate, comment, subscribe. If you want to know any more information about the cherry bars, please comment down below. Um, Please don't forget to check out the rest of my videos, my channel. Don't forget to check out JP Fish Room, which is the Facebook page for this fish room. You know, like this. And um, don't forget to check out JP Tropical Marine Group on, over on Facebook. Uh, we've got a good community going on over there. Um, and don't forget to check out the sponsor of the channel, um, BB2 Marine, uh, Blackburn. Uh, the link will be in this below for all three um, so thanks for watching and uh, please rate comment and subscribe